Hi, this is Thermodynamics. This is part three. I know I said there were only going to be two parts, but I lied. Uh, I'm Ms. Bedrosian. And this part, we're just going to practice some equations. You can use Hess's Law. You can use the table at the back of the book. We're just going to take a closer look. Remember, under Hess's Law, the heats of reactions are additive. So we can kind of add them up in a little equation. We will be using Appendix C for Delta H of formation. This is on page 1123. So it's a handy dandy little reference page. So let's go right to an example. Carbon solid plus O2 gas yields CO2 gas. And the heats of formation always have to do with uh, taking things from the elemental form. Uh, you can't do that always. You have to work up to it. Delta H for this is negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Simple enough. You just have to take a look. For 2H2 gas plus O2 gas uh, creating 2H2O liquid, well, to figure this out, look at the heats of formation. They are per mole. The creation of H2O in this equation are 2 moles worth. So you have to multiply it by 2. So now the delta H for this is a negative 571.7 kilojoules per mole. So be careful, 1 mole, 2 moles, what does the equation have in it? Let's look at the combustion of methane, CH4 plus 2O2 yields CO2 plus 2H2O. Let's take a closer look at methane, CH4. In the book, it's heat of formation of methane. This is not forming methane. This is combusting it. So you have to change the sign since we're not forming it. Uh, a reminder for Hess, delta H is the sum of NH products minus sum of MH reactants. N and M are the coefficients that you find in the balanced equation. Of course, you always have to balance the equation to really understand everything in chem. And going back to the heat of formation for CH4, changing the sun, we get negative 890.3 kilojoules per mole. See if you can figure that out using Hess's Law. A cautionary word on Hess uh, on this equation. This negative sign, it's not a negative, this is a minus sign. Danger, danger. It's what screws everybody up. Minus versus negative. It's minus there. I saw this cute little picture. I'm not sure if it's a cat or not. It's I don't know what it is. It's peeking out of a hole in the ceiling. So I felt compelled to use it. But let's do a couple of examples and see what we come up with using that table in the back of the book. So we have 2H2 gas plus CS solid yields CH4 gas. Can you solve? Pause if you think you can. If not, let's take a look at this. Uh, first of all, we know how to uh, combust it if we reverse it. CO2 plus 2H2O yields CH4 plus 2O2. Just reversing this, let's see how it goes. You would have to reverse the sign. This was from the previous example. So now it's a positive 890.3 kilojoules per mole. This is reversing the sign because we reversed the example. Using the elementals, we have C plus O2 yields CO2. And looking up this, negative 393.5 kilojoules per mole. Two H two plus O two yields two H two O, and the delta H of formation for this is you can pause it any time. Negative five seventy one point seven kilojoules per mole. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to add them all up. So let's draw a line. 
but we need to eliminate things that are the same on both sides of the equation. So eliminating some of these, we're just going to cross out the O2s on both sides, the H2O on both sides. One more thing, yeah, CO2. There we go. And now let's add them up. 2H2 plus C yields CH4. And add up the heats of formation as well. And we get negative 74.9 kilojoules per mole. And I believe that's what's in the book. We basically just proved it using the long way of figuring out delta H. Using Hess, you can get that as well. Determine delta H for the combustion of C3H8 gas. I'm not helping you. Pause and solve. You can either use Hess or the long way. Pause. Here's the answer. Negative 2,044 kilojoules per mole. Simple as that. And this is the end of part three.